easier for you. You what know a, who it is. What the hell does kind of an actor mean? Maybe he's been like in an infomercial or okay, so like it's like a guy that acts. Work. It's like uh, he's kind of an actor who's not on TV. Well, it's like me at a crop Metcalf spot. Crop. He, he lives. He lives out in New York City. Uh, white guy, older than forty-seven. Oh, Stu Finer. Is it Stu Finer? <laughs> no. I, have you ever appeared in a motion picture? <clears throat> yes. Oh. So have we. So he's an actor. <laughs> he's some sort of actor. Right, Did you play yourself in the movie? I have. He's played himself. I have. He lives in New York City, played himself. I, I, I have no clue. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> We're not getting closer, Hold though. Hold on. Don't give I, up. I feel bad for the mystery okay. guests. We're not getting closer, I think, though. I think are I've you, got it. I think I've you, got it. You do? Older than 55 years old. No. I've so got he's it. in that right. sweet spot. Who is it? Okay. Who is 48 it? to 55. you got to ask him if it's him first. Yes. you got to ask him. You know you got it. I'm 80% sure. All right. Is the mystery guest Michael Rappaport? No. Oh, oh, Kate, I said I was 80%. Okay, so we have to I don't have hear any, any guesses from the rest of you. Well, I gave I you the gun. How could you be 80% confident? I, my By confidence the way, was hot. He's been on in the last year. But hold on, Cakes. <laughs> we asked him if he was in TV, and he said no. He said he's been in a, in a motion picture. Okay, well, he well, lied was... to me then, because I asked him if he was in TV. Well, he lied to you. Oh. Where are we going? I, I wonder what other kinds of entertainment there are. Maybe one like this. So it's a radio guy. Ooh, New York City. Oh, it's Mike. Uh, is it Mad Dog? No, he's younger. No, no. He's 55. Is, no chance. is the mystery this guest guy's between 48 and 55? Is the mystery guest? I'm just throwing it out there. Craig Carton? <laughs> Craig Carton. Right? Is this Craig Carton? There's no chance. There's no it's chance. Craig Carton. Craig. No. That's, that's what I could probably There's a you. better chance. It's uh, Tim Virgin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Val, we need help. <laughs> Give us, a good Lifeline. Give us a good question. Lifeline. Yes. Radio I, I know guy. you already know All right, it. does he do sports radio? I think we need to have like a 10-question no. limit. He doesn't do sports radio, radio, but he does radio. We huh? lose. Excited. we got to have like a it. limit. Who is it? He's coming to the DC Improv. Oh, is it Gilbert Gottfried? Oh, my God. <laughs> Gilbert's like 100. <laughs> this is Jim Norton. Oh, is it Norton? Yay. Oh, it's Norton. Yay. That's our best. We ever do that. Why do we ever do this stupid thing? It's supposed to take two minutes. That's it's hard. <laughs> you couldn't have got that. That's embarrassing. You couldn't have got that. You know it's that embarrassing. Two and you know what? Jim you, Norton knows you, good radio. You gave up, you gave up after a minute. Hey, this, this was the worst suck. radio you ever. You couldn't have got that in two minutes. Because you know what? If no we way. knew we had Jim Norton, we'd spend more time with him. Yeah. We you know, when you asked me if I was in TV... I technically I've done TV, but I'm not doing anything in TV right now. Right. And uh, when you asked me if I was in movies, I was like, yeah, barely. So I didn't know how to answer those <laughs> no, questions. No, Jim, no, you, you played. You did right. You played the priest, and you got stabbed on the bench. You're definitely an oh, actor. Oh, you know what? You know what? Oh. I wasn't thinking of that. You're right. I did have a gig recently. I probably should have said yes when you said he you're was in TV. Pa- he didn't. was I, in power. I, yeah, you're right. I, I didn't think of it. And I have, uh, how did you not think of it? Jim, I saw ten you. Episodes. And I think I saw you for a short moment in that show on HBO, Crashing, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess technically I am in TV. I don't, I don't consider myself in TV. Yes, <laughs> you are. Fine. Plus, he did Louis' show for years. And you, by the way, Jim, you were pretty damn good in power. I thought you were oh, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they gave me a good stabbing were, in, uh, at the end of season you four. You were a drug dealing <laughs> priest. God, that you was were. freaking torturous. Yeah, by the way, I already have tickets. I'm going to go see Jim Norton in a couple weeks at DCM. Oh, you've him. already got the tickets? I, yeah, I love I'm the going name for of the a tour. Bachelor party. The name of the tour is the Kneeling Room Only Tour, and it's coming to the DC Improv the 22nd through the 24th. Yes. And nice. I, I just need, I have to jump off in like two minutes because I'm doing my own show. I, I, we start at 8 o'clock here. Yeah, 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 and that sorry. was the world's longest bit we, ever. We, sorry. We sorry. We botched it. We're sorry. Yeah, we're the worst. That's okay. I love you guys. It's fun. Uh, it was actually making me laugh because I know you guys know me, so I was, I was enjoying being Uncle Paul. This is my <laughs> Uncle Paul voice. <laughs> All right, so listen, I know, no, I'm hard, sure man. the shows are going to be sold out or whatever, but, you know, either way, you're welcome to come and hang out if you want. Oh. Yeah, I would like to. I think I'm coming in at day early. Uh, I'm thinking on the Friday of the weekend. If you guys are in, I would love to. Awesome. Man. I, I would love to come in and see of you. Course. It's absolutely. probably been a little over about a year and a half since I've been in. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can yeah, have absolutely. a real conversation with you instead of asking a 180 out of Honestly, questions. if we ever do Mystery <laughs> Guest again, we have to have 
a limitation why, why on the number of questions. Why do we suck so bad at it? I feel like you know, we're the worst. It should be 10 questions, and then we lose. We, I think, feel like we need guidance. We're, like, so dumb. That's hard. And that we lose because we could have more time with Jim. I just love that you mentioned Craig Carton. That was my favorite guest. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Carton. Uh, is it right. Ron Goldman? Yeah. <laughs> just that name. The scent I was, Jim. <laughs> All right. Michael Rappaport. All right. Hey, Jim, we know you got to run. Thank you, buddy. We'll definitely try to get you in studio. Open invitation. All right, guys. I'll see you, I'll see you next week. All right. Great Jim. Right, hold on. Hold on. Right, bye. Thank yeah. you, buddy. Thanks, Producers, are you, are you embarrassed? Well, I feel bad. But, but that's pro- what, what happened. The problem is, uh, first of all, I knew he was coming in when he when he's coming to town. Yeah. So I, I realized if the interview bombed today that we'd have a real one can in make two up. weeks. Yeah. The problem is you guys put the pressure on and you said, we need a real mystery guest, no more Mr. Washes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to do with a real guest, yeah. and now it's embarrassing for us. <laughs> exactly. No, no, I think that was good. That was just very hard. No, that the, was the, embarrassing. The one thing that we spaced was comedian. Not, I'm By not, the way, I'm we not one him. bit embarrassed. <laughs> We've never been I'm good kind at of that. Embarrassed. Not embarrassed We've at all. We've never been good at that. That's why Paul Stanley got bitter. No, no, Paul Stanley we knew, but we goofed on him. 